What's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy, and it's now time for another hood review. Hood review. Hood review. Hood review. <laughs> How have your week been going? My week has been going good as fuck. I've been chilling. What the fuck? <sighs> Y'all, so I got a washing dryer, and my dryer got like a sensor, and you put it on tile mode or some shit. <laughs> anyway, you put it on tile mode, and the dryer stop, and it'll go. But it's quiet as fuck in this apartment, and so the dryer just started up, and I'm like, God damn, they just scared the dog shit out of me. And y'all know I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> God damn, I promise you, I'm finna get right with the law. I'm finna get my house in motherfucking order. <laughs> anyway, let's go to slide into this hood review of Empire Season 2, Episode 4 in this motherfucker. I be damn. Elizabeth, this the big one, honey. I might be coming home to join you after this goddamn Empire go off. So the show opens up with Jamal in the studio singing. Jamal get his KC from Joe to say, oh, oh, and all them veins busting out of his neck. You know, if you're a singer and you sing like this, oh baby, I love you. I love you can't sing about shit. But if you sing like this, oh, and no vein busting out your neck, motherfucker, you can sing. Anyway, so they about to raid Empire. Here come the FBI busting in this bitch. Got Gabriel Sidibe leaning up off the couch like that. You know you fat when you get off the couch. You got to do lean like that. <laughs> Excuse me, you violate my rights. Did y'all see how uh, Gary took out Rennie? Woo! -hoo. And y'all wanna say fat people can't run. Why the fuck they be here busting up Empire like this? The FBI be on some sneaky shit. You had to watch the FBI. And now we come up on the scene where Cookie and Hakeem is up in the office and they're talking about, you know, Hakeem need to put out some music. Here come Hakeem. I wanna put up my girl group. I wanna be a mogul. Oh, Hakeem dropped that old tired ass girl group and gone and put some music out. And then, listen to this, Hakeem. If you're looking for a lead singer, go on and call that little chick that used to be with 3LW. I think her name is Keela. Her ass ain't doing shit now. I heard she working at Target, ringing up motherfuckers. So she'll be glad to get back in the group. Play us. They go play. <laughs> and then, here come Anika talking about, I want to get back in with y'all. And then, did y'all see Anika phone? She pull out her phone talking about, oh, they reign uh, Empire. Who the fuck do you got service with, Anika, to make your phone show that clear? Who the fuck are you having service with? Because it ain't Sprint, it ain't AT&T, and it damn sure ain't T-Mobile with they non-ass service having that. <laughs> now we're busting on the scene when uh, Lucia's lawyer, that damn lawyer slick, I need his ass to come here because I just got hit. Anyway, but seriously, Lucia's lawyer, he busts up in the scene. Lucia's all in the bed. I need you to wake up. <laughs> How you getting here? You heard that voice? All that sad talk that Lucius be doing when I the door. He was like, how did you get in here? Motherfucker, the FBI is coming for your motherfucking ass. They didn't bust up all your empire. And Lucius, you landed me here with another chick? And she ain't all the way whipping Goldberg black? What the fuck? <laughs> so the lawyer go down, goes downstairs to open the door for the FBI because they about to bust up in Lucia's house. And who is it? Nobody but Tyra for real. I like her playing this role. She look mad and mean as fuck like she don't play. So she good for this role. And then so she busts up in Lucia's room and Lucia's all butt naked. Hey there, baby. Look wherever you want. Ah! She looked down like... This motherfucker might be crazy, but he might be a killer, but hey. <laughs> you might be a killer, Lucius, but don't push me. <laughs> so we bust up in the scene where they in a board me. Hey, ain't this the, the white chick that partnered up with Empire? That's all. Uh, I hear talking with Jamal. Ain't this the white chick used to play on a different world as Maggie? Shut ass and got grown. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Lucius bust up in this bitch telling him, um, you know what? We're going to use this press from the um, LBI and we're going to make Empire bigger. That's how you do it. Use all kind of promotion to make it a good thing. Good promotion, bad, wait, good publicity, bad publicity, free promotion. Use whatever you got to get what the fuck you want. Where I come from? <laughs> If, if the cops raid your house, that make you a G. If the feds raid your house, that make you an OG. We gonna use this shit, and we gonna do something with it. We gonna use all this publicity. <laughs> you see, I, actually, 
I like how Lucius is thinking. I like how Maggie from the different world is thinking too. We gonna use all this motherfucking press, all the shit about the FBI, and we gonna let them think we some fucking a gangster ass label. You know, is you trying to make a Suge Knight, Death Row type label, Lucius? What the fuck you trying to do? You can still sign me. I'm available. Call me. Watch my video. Some damn. This is when we hide. This is when we hide. I was ready for Katy Perry to jump up out of Lucius' stomach or something. <laughs> They gonna wish they never knew the name Lucius Lyon to the Empire. The power is yours. It's like you about to just pull out. <laughs> I'm on the scene when Lucius is with the entire family. What the fuck is up with this family? They so backward. One minute they fight, next minute they back up having a meeting together. How the hell two companies is that supposed to be competing with each other, not having a meeting with one lawyer? All fuck shit. Anyway, so Hakeem asked uh, Lucius, did you kill Bunky? I, I, I didn't lay a finger on that man. We grew up together. No, you didn't lay a finger on him. You laid a fucking bullet on him. You gotta watch how people, when you ask a person a question, you gotta watch how they answer that shit. Did you hit my grandmama? I didn't lay a finger on your grandmama, but I put these foots up in her ass. <laughs> so now they told me they had to find Vernon and they zoomed the camera on Andre. He know he fucked up a did shit. Listen, Empire, the only way y'all gonna find Vernon, you gonna have to do Vernon just like Jesus. Go down, dig him up, and resurrect that motherfucker. <laughs> Vernon dead! Andre have a bad dream about Vernon, how they killed Vernon. Uncle Vernon, Uncle Vernon. But you know what'll be so fucked up? What did they make Vernon death be like a dream that Andre dreamed and it's just a dream? And Vernon, he had went off somewhere on a meeting and something, now he back. Now, if they do that empire, y'all gonna be on some fuck shit. But at the same time, I still don't think Vernon should have been killed off the show. I liked his character on the first season. Even though he was on some fuck shit, he still was down for Lucius. You feel me? For him reviewing Empire, and my neighbor who live on the other side of the building, I guess she walking through the little breezeway, heard me up here talking about Lucius, how to Lucius. So she come up and knock on the door. Oh, you reviewing Empire? You motherfucking bitch go cut that, shut down production. Black folks are so goddamn nosy. What make me a, such a, a magnet motherfucker want to come and knock on my door? Oh, you refer to Empire. What's your YouTube channel name, bitch? <laughs> if you see this, you better like my video. I'm going to come over next door and slam foots in your ass. Thank you for watching. <laughs> you heard that shit? So now I'm gonna bust up on the scene where um so now I'm gonna bust up on the now we're up on the scene where Cookie she coming to meet with um Lucius. Damn, I'm losing my train of thought. And she trying to get him to give her back the masters, put her back on Urban Radio, trying to get a video of Hakeem and Jamal performing together. You know, just trying to get some business going or whatever. And look at Cookie! Look at that ass, Grandmama and Granddaddy talking about that ass. <laughs> That's a big ass, Grandma. So now I'm gonna come up on Jamal in his photo shoot and he's sitting here with his little dude and his dude all mad. Flipping through the magazine like, never be in a relationship with a person that's jealous of your success. What the fuck? Now if your girlfriend or your dude jealous of you, put their ass out, break up with them, go fuck their cousin or somebody. <laughs> I'm just playing, but for real, why he all sitting there nasty stuff? You should have brought your ass to the photo shoot. And on the flip side, why all the photographers that J Jamal worked with, they always been jumped for the Skittle Fruit Basket of Life. What the fuck? Do there any motherfucker photographer that just like to take a picture, snap, snap in this motherfucker and go on without looking? Ooh, oh, you look nice. Get the fuck out of here, photographer. Anyway, so why every time uh, Lucius and Andre have a scene together, it seems like Lucius is so fucking shitty to goddamn Andre. Andre, your boy, you do him so bad. That's how you do your son, you motherfucker. You use a little kid that be nice to you, you be nice back to them. But at the same time, what did Andre do so bad? I forgot, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments. What the fuck did Andre do so bad to make Lucius hate him? And now here come they... Here come Empire flashing back to Kelly Road with her sad looking ass. Love that she about to say, say my name, say my name. Well, no what? I thought she about to bust out singing that shit. I want to be with my boy. <laughs> I make this case disappear. Can I get back in Empire? Dre, if you make this case disappear, you can have anything you want. And then the camera just zoom in. Yeah, Andre, he about to go do some old sneaky shit. But ain't there some 
father and son murder people that's in their lives and now they ass sitting there looking all crazy like they don't know what's going on. See, you can't trust nobody. You can't trust a motherfucker. Product placement is a bitch. Now, how convinced are we, the public, that Lucius gonna bust up in here with all this money he got eating a bag of barbecue Lay's chips? Motherfucker, please. But them goddamn Lay's chips show be good with a nice old damn savage, don't they? <laughs> How the tables have turned. You remember first season, goddamn Hakeem couldn't even stand cooking. You ain't my mama, you ain't then. Now all of a sudden, mama, it's just you and me. It's just you and me. See, Hakeem, you should have listened to the beat your daddy made for you. Maybe it was a good beat of some shit you could have used. And then, you know, have you ever been in that situation where you offer somebody, hey, you want to do this? You want some of this? No, I don't want none. You want some of this? Nah, I don't want none. Then when you change your mind and you took, you put this whatever up, put whatever you're offering back up, let me have some. Nah, bitch, it's too late now. We had the video shoot. They have been putting a lot of issues that have been happening lately in the news and shit. You know, black power, police brutality, mass incarceration. I like that. Even though people shit on Empire and talk about this a bad situation, we can use this platform to get a lot of shit out to the masses. So Andre trying to get back in Empire, get back on Empire's good side at all means. He about to go dig up Vernon produce the body, and then, you know, let them, somebody find the body so they can say, oh, we found the body. He must don't know that they got forensic shit. They can, if you drop a fucking sweat nose booger hair some on the body, they can find that you was the one that did the killing. So, Andre, if you're gonna go dig the body up, you better wear a goddamn plastic bubble because the FBI, they gonna get your ass. The law's gonna get your motherfucking ass. And look at that damn hair wire. Don't do that, baby. I could go to rest, go to jail the rest of my life. She only concerned about herself. Can't trust him. Can't trust the motherfucker. <laughs> ain't about the money. It's about the power. It ain't about the money. It's about the power. I like the little track, and I like the whole little look of it. That black power, black panther. I like the little look. Look how Cookie keep looking at Lucius, rolling her eyes and popping her neck and all that kind of stuff. To me, can't they just go ahead on and fuck and be through with it? Now, one thing I can't say about Empire this season is too many storylines. They need to just bring it back to like four or five storylines and be through with it. But Cookie and Lucia, they need to go on and write them back, write them back together, trying to make out a relationship. Cause you can just see the frustration. Cause I've been around motherfuckers. I want to whoop their ass, but in other words, I'm on hard. I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> Could come outside to talk to Portia, and who come hold, rolling up on her? Them hating ass police officer telling her she under arrest because she didn't appear in court. And what did Cookie say when she got in the back of that car? If I die, I want somebody to fight for me because I did not hang myself and commit suicide. Well, damn, Empire is trying to get canceled. Empire is trying to make the big white folks and Fox get mad. Look at all these social issues. I like that right there. I like that they showing, you know, they bring up the Sandra, Sandra Bland case. Y'all know that good and kill herself. Police is y'all full of shit. But anyway, damn. Locked up, they won't let you, I know. <laughs> Why the fuck they got cooked up in this bitch? She had a flashback from when she was in prison for real, for real. And who got her in jail? Motherfucking Tyra for real. Motherfucker, please. She busted me this bitch acting all hard and shit. Cook ain't trying to let that shit fade, so Cook a gangster. She know how to handle this shit. Bitch, you ain't got no probable cause to hold me in jail, so you might as well let me motherfucking go. <laughs> but damn, didn't Tyra for real play her part? She looked at her like, yeah. I got some on you. I'll see you wait for a few years. <laughs> she tried to go bad as fuck. What the fuck? But anyway, Cookie, don't let that shit phase you. Sorry for real. She on the top of shit. She on the trying to call your bluff. That's how the police be. They be trying to call your bluff. Plead the motherfucking Phil. Phil. So Andre about to go dig up the dead body of Vernon. And here comes his wife knocking on the one to scare the dog shit out of him. She, she scared the shit out of me. And I'm in the house. Anyway, they must don't watch the ID channel. They know they can't go dig up nobody without some forensic that we're gonna be left in the scene. They better put what's the wrong size shoes. If you wear a size 10, you better get you a size 14 or some shit. If you wear a size 8, you better get a 6 and squeeze your foot in. Because you know they can do feet print indention, your car tie tracks. They gonna find you, Andre. They gonna put y'all in jail. Leave Vernon alone and go be with the dying line and whatever the fuck it is. And don't be trying to get back in the empire. You gonna get yourself fucked up. Digging up that dead body, Andre, motherfucker. Hakeem sitting here listening to this beat that uh, Lucius made for him. Yeah, that beat sound like a Timberland beat. <laughs> ooh, ooh, 
Hakeem Cookie gonna be mad at you. Look at Lucius made this beat for Hakeem just so he could fool him up and trick him to come back to the Empire. And I wouldn't be shocked if Lucius was the one that told the police to come and get uh, Cookie to put her back in jail, you know, take her to jail so he could have this mama with Hakeem to fool him up. Now look at that. Lucius, 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 you are snake in the grass, but I got a shovel and some gas for your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Do it, Cookie. So Cookie was sitting here thinking about when she was in jail and she was crying and shit. And she had a moment and she just like, oh shit, I don't want to go back and do no 17 years in jail. I've never been to jail in my life and I don't think I want to go to jail. Shit, I don't even like to stay in the house all day. Shit, I can't imagine being in jail. So next time I know she beat on the door. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Hey, get Roxanne Ford up in here. <laughs> Cookie, don't turn Lucius in. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I can understand a little bit because you don't want to go with the gym. Let me see how this shit play out. <laughs> it was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Every time Jamal smiled it like that. <laughs> yeah. I hate his fucking smile. <laughs> Now we here we go with the picture that they finally got out. That is a nice picture. I want a picture of me like that, but I want mine to be like this. Fuck you. <laughs> and here come old hate ass Hakeem jealous because he ain't get no picture of him. Hakeem, why you gonna hate like that? Then Lucy's calling him a mama boy. Ain't nobody want no mama boy. A mama boy ain't never got no pussy wet before. <laughs> Don't nobody want no mama's boy. Cause that's how you acting right now, Hakeem. And then get what Hakeem gonna do. Go stab a knife in the picture. Now you know that's some old hey ass shit right there. You motherfucker. You can feel the power, go say, 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 feel the power. Want no put want to power. Nigga, girl, want to see. No! No! Timberland, Empire, Lee Daniels, goddamn Fox 4 News. Don't let Hakeem start rapping like that. I, I don't even listen to rap today because uh, look, look, look. I hate that fucking rap like that. No! 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 It ain't about the money, it's about the power. And then that they know, here come Hakeem and Jamal pushing and shoving. Y'all doing all that, y'all might have just start women at each other and shit. Get the fuck out of here. But you know what, in this whole scene, this whole scene was real deep, even though it's some acting and shit. Didn't it seem like Hakeem, you know, Jamal knocked the shit out of Hakeem. Then Hakeem pushed Jamal down, and then he picked up the bat, and he looked at him. All I could say was, Cain and Abel. Cain and motherfucking Abel. Man, you jealous of your brother. He jealous of his brother. He jealous of his position. He jealous of his power. High King is a jealous motherfucker. So Cookie had to come up with some shit to tell old Roxanne to get her out of jail. You know, Lucius, he tried to buy Apex deal and Bunker told him not to buy. And then after he had an argument, then Bunker came up dead. And then as soon as Lucius got a jail, he bought Apex. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. But I feel you, I feel you, but I wonder, but you know, ain't no need to wonder, I bet that shit is true, that somebody go to jail, and somebody be locked up or some shit, they get get in jail and get to thinking, and shit, they think about shit, who can I snitch on to get my ass up out of here? That's why I tell you, if you can't do the crime, if you can't do the time, bitch, don't do the crime, you know how that shit go. But anyway, small thinking cookie to get your ass out of jail. Oh shit, <clears throat> so now we out in the woods with Andre and Rhonda, they digging up the body and shit. Tell me one question though, where in the fuck did Andre and Rhonda get a backhoe from to dig up that much fucking dirt? Now you know, they ass had to been up there all day to dig up all that big ass hill and pile of dirt. <laughs> I need to get they ass to come dig up some hole, cause I know some bodies that I need to drop out. Storm with the motherfucker over there, I can drop that motherfucker off. <laughs> now we come up on Rhonda and Andre out here digging about the holes and they can't find the body. And what they come up on? Somebody in a big ass Cutlass Supreme 1988. <laughs> well, all the lights on bright at that blind motherfucker. And they come up and they catching them, digging up the holes, whatever. Now, let me tell you this. Have you ever been out in the woods sneaking, trying to get your little fuck in? Cause you know, you can't fuck at home. You can't fuck at a motel or whatever. And as soon as you get it in good, it's, ooh, shit, baby. Oh, here come a motherfucker driving up, catching you. You can't even get you a good one in. I hate that fucking shit. Don't you hate that shit too? <laughs> 
So who is it pulling up in this big ass Cutler Supreme? Motherfucking Lucius and his lawyer. I'm telling you, that goddamn lawyer of Lucius, I need that motherfucker for real to come fight some cases for me. And guess what? They scared the dog shit out of motherfucking Andre. Andre and Lerona looking. Oh, 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 oh. And Andre thought that his ass was about to get shot or killed or something. And here come the motherfucking lawyer with some kind of device to help you find bodies of human remains. When, do you have that always so handy? Only for the holidays. <laughs> I'll tell you, Lucha lawyer, call me. I got some money, man. Call me. I need a lawyer like that. So it seemed like Andre and Ronda, they gonna escape this shit. Keem, he's sitting at the bar having a drink. And this goddamn casino ass singer up and singing his ass out. <laughs> Let me tell y'all a little secret. Y'all, I kind of like the little jazz like casino singer. And Vegas now. <laughs> anyway. So have you ever been about to text somebody that, you know, I'm sorry, or I love you, or whatever, that you be like, shit, fuck this shit, I ain't texting them shit. That was Hakeem that did, he was texting Jabal, saying, man, I'm sorry about the picture. Then he was like, you know what, fuck this shit, I ain't telling that motherfucker, I'm sorry. <laughs> wrong, but when this season first started, wasn't Hakeem ass like 17, and so won't that make him about 17, 18 now? How the fuck he up in a bar buying drinks, drinking a drink, unless that's some apple juice or some shit? Hakeem, is you underage drinking, motherfucker? And speaking of underage drinking, this is gonna turn this bitch to a little small, funny PSA. I don't understand underage drinking. You know, if a person is 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, or 15, if they drinking, then the police want to raid the motherfuckers and take them to juvenile court or take them to jail, tell them they shouldn't be underage drinking. I mean, this is how I feel about it. If you able to fuck at 13, able to fuck at 10, 11, and make kids, why the fuck I got to wait till I'm 21 to have a drink? Who came up with that motherfucking rule? Surgeon General, my ass. Hakeem in there drinking. What the fuck? Rosie Perez, Lenisa, be him doing a solo. Why the hell she go sing a solo in Spanish and I don't know what the hell she's saying? Lee Daniels, y'all could at least gave us some captions so I know she's saying it. She could have been saying it. There's no more bacon. There's no more French toast. And breakfast would never happen again. And we'll be mad as fuck because ain't no breakfast no more. Because she up on TV saying in Spanish and I can't speak her Spanish. Shit, I better not to speak her English. They finally got Vernon body out of the ground and here come Andre, I, I, I want to say something. And then he gonna tell Vernon he forgive you. What the fuck? Oh, you forgiving me for, for you forgiving me and you killed me? What the fuck? You forgive me for killing me? Huh? Andre, say this sad ass wake speech we don't want to hear on behalf of Vernon. We don't want to hear it, motherfucker. She. <laughs> She is so Lucius gonna tell Vernon, I need a moment, y'all. Get back. Right in hell, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Damn, you killed the man, didn't tell him to ride in hell. How low down is that? Island Andre, he back in the Empire. Ain't y'all glad? Ain't he glad? Woo, woo, woo. Hug it up, make it out. Ain't we glad Andre finally back in the Empire? Yeah, Andre proved himself to his father. He wanted to prove himself. I'm cooking all late to the video shooting shit. Anika come out the background like damn Jason or somebody, you missed it. <laughs> and then here come Cookie telling goddamn Anika, I don't trust you. Don't come up at my studio again. Damn, what the fuck do Anika gotta do to prove herself to you that Lucius is on some fuck shit? But then again, when you don't trust somebody, you can't motherfucking trust them. You can't make yourself trust them. Trust gotta be rebuilt. Fuck that shit. When you can't trust somebody, you just can't damn trust them. So Lucius sitting up here burning this picture of him and motherfucking Boogie and Vernon. Yeah, gonna destroy the picture cause you destroyed their fucking live, Lucius. Anyway, so here come on down, Roxanne, right? Roxanne walking to her car. Tell them the FCC has shut down the Apex deal. And as soon as she get her car, what did she find? A dead motherfucking body. <laughs> now that was funny. Get her ass, Lucius. All right, hood folks, that's it, that's it. So overall, I don't want to sound like a hater and a buster, but this episode tonight wasn't that good. It was all right. It was still cool, but it wasn't that good. Hopefully next week it'll get better. But I really wish Empire... Oh, speaking of Empire, 
Do y'all know the Empire blocked me on Facebook? Out of all the motherfuckers on Facebook, they gonna block me because I guess I was posting my reviews, telling people to watch my review. They blocked me. Empire, fuck you, motherfucker. Anyway, but the episode tonight was I. Right. I just wish they'd go back to the first season, keep the shit basic, realizing like basic shit is all we need. Anyway, that's it. I want y'all to share my video, like my video, comment on the motherfucker. I talk back. I'm not a bougie YouTuber. I'm not stuck up. I talk to all of you motherfuckers. <laughs> and I'll see y'all back next week for another Hood Review Empire. <laughs>